What's up guys, this is Super Kami Guru 9000 and this is my quick review of Bleach chapter 451. Whew, two solo reviews, one day, here we go. Well, this Bleach was certainly really entertaining. I mean, I enjoyed it a lot, and that's one thing I think that we don't talk about enough in our reviews is uh, how visually the things look. And this week's chapter was really cool, there were a lot of really uh, well-drawn moments and uh, some really cool action. Um, if you remember from the last chapter, uh, of course, uh, Ichigo is continuing his full ring training with Ginjo, and uh, Yukio has got him inside their little PSP world, and uh, Inoue is now there, and she's able to help out a little, although in this chapter, not so much. Um, basically, we see here that Ginjo's actually been holding back a little bit on Ichigo, and Ichigo still hasn't really gotten the will to go all the way and, you know, basically use his training in a life-and-death situation. And that's why Ginjo's been holding back a lot. But now he's like, screw it. Now I'm going to come at you and you have to do this now. And it, it's pretty damn cool. Now that Ichigo's basically just getting the crap beat out of him, Inoue gets all freaked out by this and starts to run over to help. But Yukio puts this trap around her. It's almost like this caged box. Which, basically, once you're in, you're not getting out. This is another one of his powers where he uses his little uh, PSP. Or maybe it'd be more appropriate now to call it the PSP Vita. So we go back to Ginjo and Ichigo, and Ginjo just tearing him up, just left and right. And, you know, Ichigo still can't quite see right now, so he's basically just trying to sense him, you know, his presence and the sounds he's making. But Ichigo, you know, Ginjo, he's having none of that. He's just like, screw you, boom, boom, stabs him a good couple times, and before you know it, Ichigo's on the ground. And this is when Ginjo's like, alright, I guess I have no choice. I'm gonna have to kill Inoue and Chad. And then, boom, that's when it happens. Ichigo sees beyond Ginjo's physical form. In fact, he says he sees his Reiatsu. And that's when he explodes into this brand new form, which is really weird looking. It's kind of hard to describe. It, it basically looks like his uh, Shinigami robes, but there's these uh, white parts that come out from the middle and spread out all over the body. It, it looks almost like a freaking symbiote-like thing from Spider-Man. It's, it's, it's really weird. And there's actually some of it on his face as well. Um... This is another brand new form for Ichigo. I mean, he's had more forms than some of the characters in Dragon Ball Z at this point. But, you know, each one of them look pretty interesting, and this one is just as crazy. Ichigo is enraged and has his brand new powers, and he decides to use them on Ginjo. He attacks him in a really, really cool manner. Again, it's one of those attacks where something gets swung, and then there's just this huge burst of energy. And he hits Ginjo point blank and just hits the crap out of him. But... The good thing is, this is all part of the training. It's at this point that Ginjo lets Ichigo know he is officially able to control his full brain. And the reason Ginjo needed to be there was so that when he has that outburst of energy when he transformed for the first time, he's able to contain it. Basically, Ginjo was putting up an act this whole time, and he even remarks, I made one hell of a cliched villain, which is kind of funny. But the chapter comes to an end where he welcomes Ichigo to execution. Badass. Now Ichigo can finally use his full bring, and it's awesome, I gotta say, because now maybe the training is done. I hope it's done. Maybe there's a little bit more to it, but now if he has his powers back, they can finally start this saga the way it was meant to be. Because Bleach has got some really cool action in it. It does, and that's what I think it excels at the most. Its story is, you know, oh, it's decently written, but it has, you know, most of the same tropes that we see in most other shonen series. But that's what I'm really looking forward to see is uh, Ichigo and his brand new full ring powers, Chad and Inoue meeting up together again, and maybe even Ishida, and starting this brand new saga which could go anywhere at this point, especially because there isn't a clearly defined villain yet. So I would have to give this one an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I know. It was a great chapter this week. Really, really good. I look forward to the developments that are coming now that Ichigo has completed his training, and I can't wait to see new of this new form. Alright, guys. That's it. Super Kami Guru 9000. Out! Super Comic Guru. 9,000!